Hi there, I'm in Baraboo, Wisconsin. Yeah, Baraboo, just like it says on the wall here, Baraboo. And I thought this would be a great town to start off my Halloween video series, or series of videos, if you will, as we are now in October and perfect timing for Halloween. There are some things in this town that can be considered quite scary at times, and I'm going to take you there. Plus, we'll also check out some of the other unique things here in Baraboo as well. They've got a circus, of all things, a big circus. They've got the L Ringling Theater, which is historic in this neck of the woods. And then I also am going to take you to a haunted hotel bar actually I don't know if they're renting out rooms anymore or not we will have to find that out later in the video and uh, we'll get a tour of that too so it's all coming up in this video here is home to the L Ringling Theater. It's a uh, definitely a uh, an old theater here and also Circus World Museum, a, a big tourist attraction. Now speaking of Circus World, I was just noticing along this wall here behind me, they have these like uh, metal objects kind of built into the cement and it just goes all the way across and it's definitely uh, Circus World related here. It looks like the uh, theater is closed right now. I was kind of hoping to get in there to take a look at it, but you'll see some pictures that I've got. It looks beautiful in there. It's a uh, theater designed for culture, education, entertainment. It's iconic here in Baraboo, and it was built in 1915, so this is one old place. This town has a population of a little over 12,000. So it's a small town here, but they, uh, they have the claim that they are the largest town here in Salt County, Wisconsin, so they've got that going for them. Corner Drugstore has been here since 1855. So Baraboo's been around a while. All right, now I gotta check this store out. Well, as soon as you walk in, all kinds of things in here. This is interesting. So I turn to the right and we have Jerry's Tax Services over here. And then you go left in the store. Oh, is there? Awesome. The son of Godzilla. That is the son of Godzilla. All kinds of neat collectibles. And the room in the back is bigger than this. Is it? Alright, we'll have to check out the back room. <coughs> so we have a back room here. The red one's haunted. He jumps off the shelf. One time I found him in the other <laughs> side of the store. No way. And the doors were locked. I don't know how he got out. Yeah, I was just going to say, these guys have always had that freaky look. And this guy is haunted. <laughs> so he walks around the store? When just coming in the morning, yeah. at least once a week, he's not up there. Mm. He'll be somewhere else. But I still don't understand how he got through two locked doors. Does he have an ape? Uh, I think it's a Charlie McCarthy doll. Uh, we'll just call him Chuck. The uh, gentleman just stepped out. Maybe I should move Chuck. So Chuck here likes to uh, move around by himself, apparently. That's what the uh, store uh, employee just told me. You know this guy is up to no good. So I need to put him somewhere else. So when the store employee comes back in, he sees Chuck has been moved or walked away. Maybe that's something that the patrons just do here. They just move things around just to play with the store employees. In case you were wondering, the official time here in Baraboo is 105. It's really a small, quaint, but unique town. I mean, a town with the name Baraboo. <laughs> you know there's got to be some hauntings going on here. And we are going to check out more of the uh, Old Town Baraboo, or the Old Town Inn, or whatever it might be. we got to check out that bar where some paranormal activity seems to go on. And as soon as I turn around, it's like a ghost town here. There's 
Now, I'm on a side street. I'm not on the, uh, uh, the main business street that I was on earlier. But, uh, I mean, as I walk around this part of uh, Baraboo, everybody uh, got spooked and left. What am I walking into? The funny thing is, this is not a prop of any kind. This is actually somebody's bike with the skeleton in Baraboo. here for their spooky kooky car show. You have Daisy Duke in there? Yeah. All right, we'll focus on the General Lee here one second. I want to get more of this. This is the second Ghostbusters car I've seen here. Still in Baraboo for the uh, spooky kooky car show they've got going on here at the L Ringling Brewery. Now, not the theater. This is the L Ringling Brewery. Sorry about the sun there. The sun's just hitting us at the wrong angle. By the way, if you are into cars, I did a, a big car show. It was called Automotion in Wisconsin Dells. You'll find the uh, thumbnail on the channel for that. That was done, the Automotion show was done in mid-May of this year. For their first event, they've got uh, just a handful of cars here for their spooky kooky car show. And uh, the gentleman that I talked to earlier about this said that they are going to turn this into an annual event and try and grow it. The uh, L Ringling Brewery here almost looks like it can be a haunted house too. Some of the buildings here in Baraboo just have that uh, haunted look to it. I guess hence the name Baraboo. Not a whole heck of a lot to see right now here at Circus World. I believe they are closed and just open um, strange hours since we're basically in the off season. And across the river over here is the, uh, the circus grounds. And the big top that they usually have up just across, I believe right over here, where they actually do circus shows. I Actually, I think it's on the other side of this uh, building here. Over here, just down the, uh, the pathway here, is the museum, and that is what is open all year long. The uh, circus, again, is, uh, I believe, just summer only. I'll put a link below in the uh, description of this video on Circus World if you're interested in learning more about it. So I'm starting to do some Halloween activities here, and I'll be taking you to some haunted houses this month. I'm also planning on hitting a Six Flags Fright Fest, which those are usually really good. So a long time ago, this place apparently used to rent out rooms and was a, a motel of some sort. And now it's just simply a uh, bar. I'm we here with BC right now. This is the owner. How you doing? Nice to meet you. So you're telling me that this is one of the top 10 scariest places? Top 10 on, most haunted place in the nation, or 6th, 7th, where, where America, or uh, Wisconsin most haunted place. The most haunted place in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Right here, OBI. We well, found I'll, I'll the right inside. place. Let's go check out the inside I'll of this place. Right Come on in, buddy. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Tremendously Historic and the Extremely Haunted Old Beer Boo Inn. Wow. It was built in 1864 uh, during the Civil War. President Abraham Lincoln was president of this place was built. And we just got released, another top 20 just got released. Top 20 most haunted place in the nation were second or third. So tell me, so is, 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 you don't rent out the rooms anymore then? Well, we do. We rent the, the one side over here to a psychic, my one apartment upstairs. Yeah. The other side we rent out is the haunted, haunted suite. It's a haunted suite. What yeah. makes that haunted? Well, what makes it haunted? Yeah. The whole building's haunted. 
The whole building. Uh, it used to be a brothel. Different well, times back yeah, then. Yeah, we've got at least 30 spirits stay here all the time, all right? And we know a lot of them. 30 are. different spirits? Yeah, we, yeah, we got several past owners. We got um, we got uh, several cowboys. We got several gangsters. So what kind of uh, spirits do we hear in here? What do they do? Oh, uh, they do about okay. everything. A little of everything. You know what? Huh? The, the weirdest thing is when they appear. They just appear just like you sitting there. Really? You look at them and you look, they're gone. They always got that desk there. Just so for one minute, we're just sitting here enjoying our drinks, and then the next minute, you're seeing images? Yeah, uh, bar stools will turn, sometimes flip over, move across the floor. Uh, drinks will slide down the bar. We finally had a book written about us. Yeah. About six, eight months ago. And in three days, it went to top seller list on in, uh, Amazon. Who is this lovely lady? That's Sybil. Sybil. She's your lady in white. Hey, honey. <laughs> So if you're into the hauntings and all the fun stuff, give this video a like. That's what Lurch says to do. And subscribe to the channel. Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year, so I am out and about right now filming away. And this whole month, I'm going to be focusing on some fun, haunted, spooky, scary, and sometimes not so scary like today, but some some fables, if you will, or, or some tales. And I'll share all of those with you. So again, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, it really helps me out. And for the next video, I will be doing something that I keep getting advised I should not be doing, at least at night, because I am going to go to some haunted woods here in Baraboo, where they're supposed to be haunted, whole story behind that. And uh, I'm told I shouldn't go there at night, and yeah, I'm going to. What could go wrong, right? You'll see me on the next video. Subscribe now.